Hello and welcome back. In this session, we will take a look at APM architecture. APM basically is a client server architecture. Whenever, whenever we talk about client server architecture, uh, the client will send the request to server. Server will read that request and then process that request and sends a proper response back to the client. So this is a general client server architecture wherein whatever the client request is sent to the server, a server has to understand that particular request and whatever the response which is sent by the server should be understandable by the client. So there is some protocol which is negotiated between the client and server in order to identify the message coming in and the response going out. Okay, so the protocol in case of APM is JSON wire protocol. Since the APM server is built on Node.js, which is a JavaScript based server, the protocol which is used between the client and server is called JSON wire protocol. In case of client, we have many uh, client software which we can use or libraries which we can use, such as Java, C Sharp. Java, C Sharp. These are the libraries, client libraries, which initiates the request to the server. PHP, Python, etc. We write the program, client program, uh, in these languages, and the request will be formatted in terms of JSON and sent to the server. And uh, the server will also respond back to the client by using JSON protocol. In case of client, we have Java, C Sharp, PHP, Python, etc. And uh, in terms of server, the server comes with uh, Node.js as, as a package. Uh, whenever we send a client request using any of these languages, that will be converted into JSON uh, so that the server can understand the request coming in and then respond appropriately. This is one side we are talking about. The, on the other side, the server has to interact with the actual device or emulator. So here we can have emulator or simulator of real device. So whenever the client sends a request to the server, the server will have to interpret that based on the request coming in. That's why the client will request to the server based on the desired capabilities it will interact with either emulator simulator or a real device so we need to have desired capabilities here so from the client we will uh, send the desired capabilities based on the desired capabilities it will either interact with emulator simulator or a real device so in case of devices we can have ios device android device emulator is used for android devices and simulator is used for ios device or else we can also have real device connected okay so whenever client sends a new request by using desired capability server will decode that and then it will find those devices which has this desired capability so once it finds a device or emulator or a simulator or a real device based on the desired capabilities it will perform a particular action on that particular device it could be iOS or Android device under the hood client is using HTTP protocol to send a request and HTTP response will be sent back to the client from the server
So this is the short introduction to APM architecture. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.